Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my favorite features of the Garmin Instinct Watch, and that is the Storm Alert. So first let me start by saying I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar Watch. Doesn't matter which version of Garmin Instinct you have, the Storm Alert is available on all of them. It works the same. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So I mentioned this is one of my favorite features. This is also the feature that I get the most complaints about with the Garmin Instinct, and that's because people get storm alerts on days where the weather seems perfect or they don't get any rain, stuff like that. Uh, if you've watched my videos before, I've shown you how you can turn on or off the alert, but today I'm gonna be talking to you about how you can adjust the alert so that maybe it's uh, more accurate for where you are. So first let me say there's different ways you can get to the storm alert. You can do it by going to the barometer, you can go to the barometer widget. I'm gonna do it the way I think is the quickest, which is holding down the set button and going to your alerts. If it doesn't open to alerts on you, just use the up or down button. You might be set on something else, but you should see that one of your options by holding down the set button is alerts. Once you're on alerts, press the GPS button and arrow down until you get to storm. And again, press GPS to select storm. You'll notice the very first thing is your status. This is how you turn on or off your storm alert. But underneath status, if you press the down button, you'll see a rate. Now by default, it shows the um, storm units, I'm sorry, the pressure units in hectopascals. Uh, you might have this different. You can actually change this in the barometer settings. I'm not gonna go through all that. I'm not trying to get too advanced in this video, but uh, you can show the barometric pressure in hectopascals, millibars, uh, millimeters of mercury, or inches of mercury. So you might be seeing something different than what I'm seeing here in hectopascals. But by default, they have it set to four hectopascals per three hours. What this is doing is this is looking for a rapid change in barometric pressure. So if we press the GPS button, we'll notice that we can change this. So for example, if you're not getting any storm alerts for your area, you might wanna to go to a lower change in barometric pressure. For example, you might wanna change it to two and a half hectopascals per three hours. Again, if you're not using, I'm saying hectopascals, but if you're using a different unit of measurement, uh, I'm just saying go to a lower rate. If the most common complaint I get is people get storm alerts all the time and there's no storm, you can increase the amount of change in a three hour period. Now know one thing about uh, barometric pressure, just because you get a storm alert and you don't get any bad weather doesn't necessarily mean that the reading was wrong. Uh, sometimes a change in air pressure doesn't necessarily result in uh, rain, but it could result in high winds. So for example, a, usually a change and air pressure going down is gonna indicate uh, winds and rain. Usually a change in air pressure, a rapid change in air pressure going up can result in high winds. The other thing is these rapid changes can vary depending on where you live. Uh, so anyway, just something to consider, but the whole point of the video is for me to tell you that if you're getting invalid storm alerts, go in here and make some slight adjustments to your uh, units that are triggering off your storm alert and see if it doesn't help. So for example, mine was set to four. If I'm getting a lot of alerts, go to four and a half hectopascals for three hours, press GPS to save it. Now you've got your rate adjusted. Go back and see if your storm alerts become more accurate. If you're still getting a lot of storm alerts, you don't see any changes in weather, go in and adjust it again, another half hectopascal and see if that doesn't help. But there's a lot of people that don't even realize you can change that. They just want to turn it off because they think it's invalid. Sometimes you just need to make adjustments to the amount of measurement that's charging, uh, causing the storm alert. So I hope that makes sense. There's a lot of other barometric uh, settings on this watch, but in terms of the storm alert, that's really the only option you have to try and fine tune it to get it to where it's giving you accurate results. As always, I hope this video helps. If you've got questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. And thanks for watching.